Hello and welcome to Dabbling in Journals and today I've got my Olive Traveller's Notebook out and I thought I would do a spread in my gratitude journal to start with. Now I was inspired to do this by a little video clip that my daughter sent to me. She is currently putting together an Instagram page for some perinatal and postnatal exercise classes that she's going to be running. And she sent me this little video clip and it was just such a magical moment. It really inspired me to do some work in my gratitude journal. And as I've mentioned previously, I find gratitude journaling, I think just generally it's a good self-care practice, especially for somebody like me who is struggling at the moment with mental health problems. So let me first show you the video clip that my daughter sent to me and then we'll make the page. So I'm sure you can understand why that inspired me because my grandson is so adorable. <laughs> Just a magical moment. And I want to capture some of that in this spread. So this paper has already been painted with coffee. I painted it all with espresso coffee. So I just brewed an espresso and then painted all the pages and let them dry. And then I have distressed around the edge with some distress ink and I have a couple of photographs I want to use. So I've got this one of my grandson and I've got this one of my grandson where he's just been shopping for his first pair of shoes. <laughs> so in this photograph, he's saying cheese for me while I take a photograph of him. And here he is walking proudly in his new shoes, which have cars on and he really loves cars. So I want to use that on my gratitude spread. Oh, and I should also perhaps put a link to my daughter's Instagram down below, just in case anybody's interested. I don't know whether any of my viewers are expecting a baby at the moment, and you might find some of the things on her Instagram useful. So I will link that below and pop it on the screen. And I'm going to be using these enamel dots, which are an autumn collection from Carter Bella. I've had them ages though, so I don't know whether or not you can still get them, but you'll be able to get something similar if you like them. And I'm going to use these stickers, which were a gift from Dawn. And if you're watching Dawn, thank you very much. And these came from the range in the UK and they're lovely autumnal stickers. So I don't know which I'm gonna pick, so I'm just gonna get them out and then I'll decide. And there we are there's all the lovely stickers and i definitely want to use these leaves because obviously the video showed my grandson playing in the leaves with his mummy so i think the leaves would be a really good choice for this page and then we'll see about other things might do might not oh i had oh, there it is so i'm going to start with some little bits of torn paper i think about that piece of paper that's really cool I think what I'll do is I make that photograph a little bit smaller just by cutting it because <laughs> I don't need the edge bits do I and then we've got these beautiful roses And as this paper was gifted to me in a happy mail, that's another thing that I have to be grateful for. It's so important not to let life's little magical moments pass you by unnoticed. And I'm gonna stick the photo on. I wonder if it needs like a bit of a border. I'm pretty sure in here, in my Uruluku pouch where I keep all my bits, I have some little frames. Let's see if any of those would look nice. That's a nice plain coloured one. Oh, that would look cool, wouldn't it? So I just need to chop off a little bit more from my photograph.
and these frames I've cut out myself using a die because I've got one of those hand crank die machines that you can cut out shapes so yeah I really like that so I'm going to put that one on and I think it will just stop it from just blurring the photograph just merging into the background won't it I should have got my thin pen glue pen out shouldn't I I'm always too impatient <laughs> And I'm just going to take one of these stickers from Tim Holtz from his ideology. I saw Louise using some very similar to this on coffee tea paper earlier this morning. <laughs> I was lying in bed. I'm full of cold. So I was trying to like muster up the energy to get up. And then I spotted a video from Louise. So that was that. I had to stay in bed. <laughs> I think actually I'd be better with a black one, wouldn't I? Now, what would I like to put? I'm going to pick this one which says you are loved because that is definitely true. And then I want to put, I've got some new washi tape which my sister gifted to me on my birthday and I'm going to use some of that on the bottom here. I think I actually had a sample of this from um, Snippets and Scraps in a Happy Mail. And now I have a whole roll, so I, I'm, that's really cool. I'm going to put a bit up there as well. I'm so grateful for all the things that get sent to me by my lovely viewers, my Happy Mail friends, my family. It's just wonderful and important to keep in mind. And now I'm going to use some of these. Oh, what about stickers, though? I was going to use some stickers. Where did they go? Hmm. I had some stickers on here of leaves. Any of you watching, see where they go. Oh, I found them. <laughs> right. Let's see what would look nice with those roses. I like that one. I think. So I'm going to put that on. There we go. And then I'm going to put some of the little dots. for an orange one that's a lovely burnt orange color and then i think the red looks nice with those roses so put another one and then a little tiny one no no i'll go for the middle size first should i have a tiny one as well I quite like things in threes though, so I think I'll leave that for a moment. I feel like I want something here. That's too much, isn't it? I don't know what I want up there, no. Okay, I'll think about it for a moment. I'm just grabbing some more paper. Really like the color of that one. So I think I'm gonna rip this one. And I'm going to stick that one on. I'm just going to have a look in here and see if I've got any other little bits I might like to pop on, layer it up a little bit. Let's try that first of all. Ooh. 
and then this one I think is just a piece of paper so I need to stick that one and I'm just overlapping them just to add some interest and some texture and this is a little kitter strip with some really cute little birds on where do I want that? I think maybe there. And then my photograph. I might just make that a long skinny photograph. <laughs> I want to keep the bit. I want to keep the bit which says Clark's because in the UK, Clark's is a very popular shoe shop for children i'm sure I, I was bought child clark's shoes as a child and i bought them for my children and now my daughter buys them for her children sometimes especially these like when they're having their very first little shoes so i'm just trying to decide where i want that maybe here And then, where did my leaves go? Oh, I think I like that there. And then maybe the green one. Down here. Yeah. There's one. And then I think I'd like to like mirror the dots. So I've got some dots up at the top here. Let's go around the other way and have a big red one. I find it really hard to get these off my fingers. <laughs> I need tweezers. I need tweezers. That looks really nice with that leaf. Let's see if tweezers helps. they match my nails I which need to go and get my nails done once my uh... I'm not really having much more luck with the tweezers am I but at least I can see where not really <laughs> that hasn't helped me at all has it what am I like? I'm so ham-fisted. It's been... <laughs> I don't even know what, how it's sticking to the tweezer. Oh, I'll just do it with my fingers again. Oh, for goodness sake. It's going under there. <laughs> Get up there. Go on. Oh, that might work. Push it into place. <laughs> And uh, let's do, a, should we do a little bitty one? Why not? I'm never going to get this tiny one on, am I? Oh dear. Oh, actually it's easier. I did it. Woohoo! <laughs> so, all I'm going to do now is add another little saying. So this one says you are loved what shall oh i'm gonna put always and forever because <laughs> that goes doesn't it with you are loved and i am going to call that page done i think or do i need something there oh i don't know um oh i love those berries I don't think it goes. No, it's too much. I think I'm just going to leave it as is. And I am going to call that page done in my gratitude journal. Now, I haven't actually written anything, which is a bit of a shame. So I think what I'm going to have to do, actually, is put a little tip in of some kind. Let's have a look. What have I got? What's in here? 
Ah, yes, this is the kind of thing I need. Oh, and that'll give me something to put over. The, oh, oh, what do we think? If I just do it as a tip in, then I can write on the top and I can write on the back, can't I? So I think that's what I'm going to do. And I don't want any more of that washi tape, so I'm going to get some clear tape. little piece of clear tape on the top there and I shall tip this in like that and now I've created a little space for me to do my journaling well I didn't make that easy for myself did I having it flopping around like that trying to write on it but I have put a little bit of journaling there and that will remind me of that video and it will also remind me of how grateful I am for my beautiful children and my beautiful grandchildren and moving on from that I'm now going to do a spread in my memory keeping journal so I'm going to pop this one away this, this poor journal still doesn't have a pen. I'm trying to decide what pen would look nice. And I think the one I've got in mind, I might have already mentioned this, is the Coeco Steel pen, the Steel Sport pen. So I might be asking Santa, because <laughs> I think it would look nice with these charms from Traveller's Factory. And if you like these kinds of charms, you can get these in the UK from, oh, what's the name of the shop? All things analog i'll link them below right moving on then and this is the journal that i use for my memory keeping and i just want to do a page in here and oh i've got a birthday card i want to save in here i don't know where to put it that's from my sister isn't that a gorgeous image and she's filled it with a lovely message and i want to keep that somewhere but for now let's move on to my next memory keeping spread And as this is an autumn one, I am going to distress it in a different colour from my usual. I am going to use Rusty Hinge from Tim Holtz. I absolutely love this colour. I should use it more often. Rusty Hinge is such a lovely name for it. I used to have a fish called Rusty Hinge, but sadly that fish has long since passed away. <laughs> right, now I have more photos of my grandchildren, but I wanted to put these in my memory keeping journal. Here they are. So we had a day of autumn wreath making and we were at my eldest daughter's house and my younger daughter joined us and my granddaughters had some lovely fun making wreaths. So I just wanted to put a page about that in my memory keeping journal. And again, it's gonna look lovely with these autumn colors, isn't it? So let's think, I've picked out a few little bits which I thought would look nice. So I have this lovely sort of picture of is that wheat i don't know what it is it's some kind of grasses growing and they were using dried grasses in their wreaths so i thought that would be really apt and that was sent to me by snippets and scraps thank you so much i love all these little things that people send to me i've got a tiny bit of washi tape which needs using up from this little washi card and then i can refill it so i thought i would try and use that and then this beautiful pet tape, which also came from Snippets and Scraps, I think would look really nice on this page. And obviously I've got my stickers. And as we were making these autumn wreaths for Halloween, a pumpkin would be a very good idea, wouldn't it? <laughs> and, oh, I had those little, what did I do with them? I had these little gonk stickers. <laughs> that I used on that. I don't know where I've put those. Don't have them out at the moment, but never mind. Would would be nice to put one on this page though. I don't think you can see in the pictures because there's so much stuff on the table where they were making up their wreaths, but there's gonks. So you can see the legs of a gonk there and there's a gonk there. My daughter's house is full of gonks. So a gonk sticker would be just the thing. Let me see if I can find it. 
I found them. <laughs> Let's put one of those on. And I, a nice autumn gonk. Now, I think this page is going to end up looking quite busy. So I don't think I'm going to use any scrap paper this time. I am just going to put my photos on and decorate with my stickers and so on. So I'm going to put one at the top where they're all busy working. They were painting little wooden leaves to put on their wreaths. And I know I definitely want to put a gonk on here. So shall I start with that? And I think him, this one down here with a nice cup of coffee. <laughs> we certainly had nice cups of coffee. There we go. And let me see. I want to use that little bit of washi tape. Do I want to go over the photo? Yeah, why not? Like so. And I will save that now because I can refill it with washi tape. Got some of this lovely washi tape, which is really autumnal. And this also came from Snippets and Scraps. Thank you so much. I'm using all your, all your gifts today. <laughs> oh, that's really pretty, isn't it? Where shall I put that? put that on the bottom is like I've done here there. and then I'm gonna layer that piece on now is that a sticker yes hmm. I've done that thing where I take the backing off and then I kind of change my mind now I'm gonna go for there No way, no way does that look nice. Oh, I might put one of these. <laughs> oh, which colour? I like that colour. I'm going to pop that there. Which makes a nice little plain background. And then I might take one of these pieces. little flower <laughs> there I like that so the next thing I'm going to do is put a title I think and I've just grabbed a Faber-Castell pit artist pen and this is a colour sanguine okay and I think I want to add a little bit more decoration so I'm trying, I definitely want a pumpkin. Let's put the pumpkin down here. And there's my little pumpkin. I really like these berries. <laughs> I'm determined to use them somewhere. I'm gonna put them there. So they're going there. And then I want to use a little bit of this, I think. That little, that little bunch of flowers would be really cool. I'm going to put those there. Just slightly that way. And I think I might put that little bottle. It's just so calming and relaxing, picking out little bits of pet tape and rearranging the images on a page. And relaxing is so important for self-care, as are all the happy memories that I'm collecting in my journal. So I haven't done very many pages yet, but the pages that I've done so far are full of happy memories. And so all that remains now is for me to do my journaling
So there we go. I have put together a page in my gratitude journal, which reminds me of that lovely video of my grandson playing in the autumn leaves. And there's also a picture there of him purchasing his very first pair of shoes. And then on this page, I am celebrating the happy memory of spending time with my family making autumn wreaths, which was really fun and such a wonderful way to boost your self-care and mental health doing something creative with your family and thank you so much to all of you for watching and i will see you again very soon bye